Hi and hello after a long time. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create an application that will encrypt and decrypt data uh, using the single round DES encryption algorithm. For all you that want to um, use this algorithm to encrypt some sensitive data, please do not do that because the DES, single round DES encryption algorithm was cracked in 90s so cracking it now could be under 15 minutes this is a request video by the way so begin from creating a phone in my phone the text box 1 is the plain text for encryption and text box 2 will be the cipher uh, I have buttons encrypt and decrypt so okay let's start let's go to code uh, uh, using system security cryptography, cryptography sorry and using system IO uh, because we will require streams and DES okay now create private string encrypt and in here first in this create the crypt, crypt service provider name it uh, uh, now, what we need to have is the key and the initialization vector. So, if in short, so those are usually as byte array. So, byte array key equals um, ASCII encoding, ASCII get bytes. And the key is 64 bits uh, in length, so it needs to be 8 characters long, so just go on and type some random letters on the um, keyboard. Now, the E is the same, ASCII encoding, ASCII get bytes, and also 8 characters long. Uh, okay, so if you want to use some characters that are, on, that are only available in your uh, language, like I don't know, in my language it would be or something like this, then um, just uh, here use Unicode encoding and Unicode or UTF-8. Now what we need to do now is create the memory stream for the contents of the, uh, the, uh, the cipher so the encrypted contents of text uh, ms equals new memory stream uh, now we want to create a crypto stream for the encryption name it cs equals new stream here is the memory stream and I could transform transform is DES create encryptor key and initialization vector and of course write because this is encryption now <laughs> this might be funny now create stream writer uh, SW equals new stream rider from crypt stream. Now, why do we need actually all free memory st free streams for this for a single operation such as encryption? Well, you see, this is one of the faster ways and usually used because we text take the text, yes, the plain text or data. We insert it into stream rider and we write it to the crypto stream which encrypts it and then it writes it into the memory stream so it is a perfect way to encrypt uh, data because uh, attacks on it are well basically impossible but nothing's impossible in reality uh, now, sw.write the text value, in my case textbooks on the text, 
uh, SW flush. Um, now uh, uh, CS, CS flush final block CS as encrypt string. Uh, this is the encryption and adding the padding mode, which is by usual pkcs7 and again sw flush. We in here we cleared the stream writer. Yes, for all that don't know that, and we will return the cipher. So return convert to base 64 string from ms get the buffer we don't want send any options here use costing as int ms length why as length? well because the memory stream that length is long as you may see in here that's all for uh, encrypt now let's go to the decrypt method so private string decrypt um, just go ahead and copy these the key and service provider key consolidation vector and service provider uh, now create the memory stream memory stream name it equals new memory stream and here is a bit of funny thing we actually this time we need to add some data because we will read from it so in the memory stream in initialization add convert from base 64 stream so this time to the byte ray and in my case it will be text box to that text now the same create Crypt stream CS equals encrypt stream from memory stream DES create decryptor from key and initialization vector. The key and initialization vector in both methods needs to be the same uh, for it to work. In this case, we will use read. And again, stream reader as name it equals new stream reader from crypt stream, and we will simply return the as our stream reader that read to end. So, and that would be all for the encryption and decryption in this case. Here is uh, the same, we have three streams, the memory stream is the cipher, then it goes to the crypt stream which decrypts it and it inserts it into the stream reader, so we can read it. Uh, now, okay, let's do the buttons, uh, encrypt, uh, Text box one, text box two, the text equals encrypt and text box two text text box one the text equals decrypt. Now that I think of it, why didn't I just do all the code in these uh, events? Let's test it. Standard hello world. Let's try to encrypt it. And we have the encrypted cipher. Now let's try to decrypt it. And here we have the decrypted text. To show you that it works, I don't know, let's just hit. Uh, what a beautiful weather what a few what a beautiful weather encrypted let's cut it close the application 
run the application again let's insert cipher and let's decrypt it and we have the decrypted text so congratulations we have a DES encryption application encryption and decryption uh, thanks for watching and to all of you um, please do send some requests uh, I don't know because I really start run out of the um, ideas plus uh, I'm a bit busy recently so I'll try to upload more videos in a short time uh, thanks for watching see you later